So we're now going to look at uh, the formation of images by convex and concave lenses. But at the outset, let me remind you that convex lenses produce both real and virtual images, while concave lenses only produce a virtual image. So this is the image formed by a convex lens. Here is the object OA and the object is kept outside the focal point. The focal point is here. It's kept outside the focal point and we're trying to get the image. To get the image you, we need at least two rays starting from any point. So we're trying to get the image of the head of the object. So there are two rays starting from there. One is parallel to the axis and any ray that's parallel to the axis after refraction will pass through the focal point on the other side. So the parallel ray passes through the focal point. The second ray is a ray that's drawn through the center of the lens. The center of the lens is called the optic center. And so that ray has no refraction and goes straight through. In fact, that's the only point in the lens through which when a ray passes, it has no refraction. And we see that the two rays actually meet here. They intersect there. That means the image is real. That means it can be produced on a screen. Any real image can be produced on a screen, can be obtained on a screen. And also, a real image is always inverted. So a real image can be produced on a screen and a real image is inverted. In this case, the image is magnified. It's bigger than the object. Here is the virtual image produced by a convex lens. In this case, the object is inside the focal point. So here is the object and that's the focal point. So the object distance is smaller than the focal length. And again, we have the same two rays, the parallel ray after refraction will pass through the focal point and the ray through the optic center will go through without refraction. But we see that these two rays will not meet on this side because they are diverging, they're going away. And so we have to imagine that these two rays are coming from a point here. So these refracted rays are extended backwards. And that's the imaginary part which makes the image virtual. So there is no actual image. It's a virtual image. and. Uh, all virtual images are upright and virtual image cannot be formed on a screen and that's where the position of the eye is so you cannot get this on a screen but somebody looking from here will be able to see the image magnified and upright obviously this is how we use the convex lens as a magnifying glass. That means if you want to read text that is really small, like small print, you have to hold the lens very close to the print in such a way that the object, which is the print, is inside the focal point. Okay, So it should be very close and then when we look, we see the print bigger and upright. And this here is the image uh, produced by a concave lens. You can see that the middle part is thinner than the edges. So that's a concave lens, which is a diverging lens. And it can only produce a virtual image. So no matter where you put the object, whether close to the lens or far away, it can only produce a virtual image. So here is the object, OA. And we need two rays, one parallel. But this time it cannot go through the focal point 
but it goes away it, it's refracted along that path and when you extend it backwards it appears to be coming from the focal point so so this is the refracted ray and when it's extended backwards it appears to be coming from the focal point F now the second ray goes straight through the optic center and will not bend so the two rays appear to be coming from here so B is the image of the point A so that means IB is the image of OA we can see it's virtual it's upright it's smaller than the object that means the magnification is less than one and the image is of course very close to the lens finally in this section we have the image produced by a compound microscope and in this case there are two lenses there is an objective and there is an eyepiece okay so the objective and the eyepiece as you can see here and you have the object in this case kept very close because it's a microscope it's a slide or something that you have very close to the objective so that's the object and like before we try to find the image of this instead of two rays now three have been drawn so that's the parallel ray which goes through the focal point of the objective and then you have the ray that passes through the optic center that goes through without any refraction and then you have a ray that goes through the focal point on the other side and which becomes parallel so they meet here so this is the image produced by the objective it's a real image it's inverted and this image will now act as the object for the eyepiece. And since this is inside the focal point of the eyepiece, it's going to produce a virtual image. So we continue those rays and they fall on this eyepiece and after refraction they do not meet each other, they are diverging. So we extend all the three backwards and they appear to be coming from here which means that the image is virtual because you had to extend the refracted rays you had to use your imagination so finally you get the magnified image which is virtual and inverted and the total magnification of the microscope is the product of the individual magnifications of the eyepiece and the objective.